Whenever we tend to have problems with any wiring, we very often just generically call it a short circuit. The reality is there is a short circuit and an open circuit, and they are the opposite of each other. A short circuit is when you have a connection where two wires within that circuit may be touching. And that can certainly cause problems because the signal is going to be shared across both of those. And on a network, that might cause outages. The traffic is not able to go from one side to the other. Sometimes that's hard to see because those wires are usually inside a sheath and inside some plastic. So it's sometimes not obvious that a short circuit actually exists. An open circuit is the opposite of that. Instead of two wires touching, you have a complete disconnection of a wire. The circuit is open. And if there's a breaking in a connection, it might be easier to see that. It's sometimes a little bit easier to see where cable has actually disconnected itself. And if you run into a situation where you might have an open, you also have no connectivity across that connection. And sometimes when there is a short or an open and it's just a minor type of connection, it might be intermittent. But you're not going to have a situation where a short or an open is going to provide a slowdown. Usually it is a complete disconnection or a complete outage on the network, or it's one that comes and goes in an intermittent process. If you've ever had a short or an open in your network, or maybe in a headphone cable, you'll notice that if you wiggle that cable, you can start to hear the differences as that wire moves back and forth and either is shorted or is opened inside of that cable. Wiggling a cable may not be the best way or most efficient way to go about finding these problems. But if you have a way to look at a link light and start just gently moving Ethernet cables, you may find one that turns off the light and back on whenever you happen to move that particular wire. Usually, you are replacing the wire completely. It's difficult to figure out exactly where on an Ethernet cable the short or the open might be. Or if you do, you're going to have to replace that section of cable so that you no longer have any of those types of connectivity issues inside of that connection. And if you really can't tell exactly where the problem is, you may have to bring in specialized equipment like this time domain reflectometer. That is one of the more advanced type functions that you can have a piece of equipment that can send a signal down the wire and tell you exactly how far down the wire is your short or your open. These require a little bit more knowledge to know how to use properly. But if you're trying to locate a very, very difficult to find problem, a TDR can be invaluable.